Hello, my name's Carolina, this is Carolina's Closet, and today we are doing a fun and easy crochet top. Let's do this. Um, so we are doing a freehand crochet top. Uh, that means that you don't have to follow a recipe or any instructions. You just kind of do it. Um, for that reason, I think it's kind of like a beginner's project. I myself am a beginner in crochet. I only recently started doing... Let me show you. I have a lot of crochet squares that I have been doing. They're really tiny. Because I'm doing a project. And apart from this, I haven't actually crocheted before. I do work with fiber art a little bit. But crochet itself, it's not something that I had done much before. Um, That's why I think it's a fun little uh, beginner project. Uh, yeah, so first we will need yarn. Um, if you're going to buy new yarn for this project, I recommend getting something a little thick um, because you can go faster and you can finish this project. And I feel like with beginners, like when we're beginning to do something, it's nice to finish things fast and see how they look and then like you get encouraged to do more and more whereas when you're like I don't know if you start something and it takes so long you kind of get it discouraged to do it you know so yeah uh, definitely go and get some thicker yarn because you can use a thicker needle usually the yarn comes with the needle hook size that you need on it like written on it and you'll go fast because I only have um, thin yarn laying around my room and I don't want to buy new yarn I will be doubling up or like tripling up my yarn. I will be using, I think, a three and a half needle. I have a few needles here. They're all my mother's. They all belong to my mom. And um, I'm lucky that she has a variety of needles. Usually with the size of yarn that I have here, I would use a... 1.75 or 2 millimeter hook but because I'm doubling up I think I'm using a three and a half or even a four I think three and a half is fine um, to do this project and yeah I'm using I'm going for a blue a blue thing because I have a lot of blue yarn laying around that uh, I have left over from another project that I did so I really want to use this up but I did grab a little yellow for maybe some contrast and yeah, so what you need to know uh, to do this, first you need to know how to chain a chain stitch to make a little chain that is the start of a crochet. Every single crochet project you will need to chain in some stitches. And to do that you basically do the slip knot and you chain in. You just pass the hook through the like loop and then you get some more yarn and you continue doing it. The second thing that um, you will need to know how to do is how to do a single crochet. I'm inclined to say like single stitch, but I think stitch is a knit terminology. So a single crochet, this is how a single crochet looks. You're just doing a single knot, I guess, up. After a single crochet, I, I'm also using double crochets. Um, I'm going to put it here on the screen, how to do those. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, I got the idea for a freehand knit from Loopy Studio on Instagram. They're amazing, like they do really cool things. And I saw a few of their work on Pinterest and I thought it was really, really fun. So I'm gonna put here on screen some um, freehand crochet ideas that I got, like of the things that I'm doing. Cause I feel like I haven't shown you like what I'm kind of aiming to do here. I just said freehand crochet. Cause freehand crochet can mean a lot of things. Um, like you can do a lot of things with freehand crochet, but this is the style that I'm going for. Oh yeah, uh, so we did double crochet, half double crochet, and also we, um, we <laughs> um, are needing, we'll need to increase and decrease, and um, I'm increasing and decreasing very randomly um, as I go, you know, as I do the piece. But it's actually really important to give like this funky shape that we're going for with this design. Um, I'm back with a nice long chain. I didn't count because I just, you know, it's a freehand knit. I'm not counting anything. I think I'm gonna start by doing a couple of double crochet um, rolls just to kind of set the scene, you know, set the mood. And then from there, I, I will see what I'll do and I'll tell you so that you can maybe do it along with me. Um, hello, so we're back. It has been a few hours and this is all I have. This is why I didn't film too much. Um, yeah, basically I did this trip so that I would have like a base and now I'm going to go up from it in kind of weird, kind of cookie crazy uh, shapes and I will film that and I will be talking about it to you. So basically now I just have a strip. They're all double crochets. I have four rolls. And yeah, and I'm using two colorways. I have light blue, dark blue, and yellow. And light blue, light blue, and dark blue. Or navy. Um, so these are my colorways, and I'm just kind of alternating between the two of them. And I think I think I didn't I didn't show you how um I change colors. So I'll put a little clip here. Basically, you just kind of stop using one and then you grab the other and you continue using uh continue doing everything but you hold um the the kind of tails of the the yarn and kind of loop around them so that you don't have a bunch of tails you know hanging loose that you have to get I'm just going to start and do a few double crochets and then I'll start to do like a, a round thing um okay like here I started um, with a few doubles uh, double crochets and then I did a little chain over here see and now I think I'm just um I'm going to go in here in the next stitch like this and I have a little loop here. I think I'm gonna go around it. And then I think I'm going to turn it. 
I feel so free. Like I, I feel reckless. Like I don't have, I don't have where to go. <laughs> it's so hard. Okay, I'm having such a hard time. But like, see, I'm start. I started going around here, and I'll just continue on that little circle that we did. I keep saying we. I don't know if this is weird. I just edited another video that I posted to my YouTube. And I keep like referring to me and you guys. But I don't have... <laughs> I don't really have that many viewers. I'm just kind of doing it. But you know, maybe one day I will have viewers. And we will be a we, you know. As much as now I'm, I'm, I sound crazy and like... I really shouldn't be talking to myself while crocheting i feel like in the future maybe i'll be talking to someone you know i won't be just talking to myself maybe i don't know so we're back it is the next day did i think this was, this was going to be a, a fast project i hope not because it's not it takes time and it's every single like crochet thing takes time i'm just like very bad at estimating time i usually underestimate it so this is where we're at it's not much but it's you know it's something for one day and basically um i just started going for it you know i did this the strap like the the waist strap guess kind of like thing and then i started going up here a little bit and then i started like doing these loops i did this like very small ones um and then i started getting a little bit more adventurous and i went all the way over here with these like big big loops and um kind of squiggly lines um uh, and i'm loving how it's looking it's really organic you just go with it uh you stop at a point you start another chain up or like around and then you can like make it a loop or you can just kind of make it go straight up and then you come back it with like a double crochet and then you go back then again i just went with it you know also i decided to put the white to give a little contrast um and the white i'm going in with a single crochet so everything else is a double crochet and here the white is a single crochet that i'm using to go around um and then like i think later i'm going to do fill in like this this little holes with the white i think it's gonna look fun also i think i might like go around everything in the end when i'm done with the white because i think that's gonna look really nice uh, oh one last thing if you're doing this i recommend doing it on a table and laying um your project flat every time you do something new because um if you start just like going crazy and like you like this and you're knitting like crocheting like this and then you don't lay things flat because we're doing such a random thing like with that without a recipe without anything you can start making things go like really three-dimensional tri and like really kind of not in the shape of a body and then if you lay it on yourself not that like our body is three-dimensional but like you can go like with a strap you know if you start making things like way too two-dimensional they might not be able to like look good on the body so lay flat everything and then just kind of wiggle things around so they're flat when you continue so like for example here this was not supposed to go um here it was supposed to go like up here in my imagination but because if i did that it would stay like not flat so i'm putting it all the way up the strap so it stays it lays flat and yeah i'm just going to continue knitting not knitting crocheting and i'll be back in a few minutes or like in the next few seconds with an update for you guys okay so in this part here i'm you know continuing with the white uh, outline and because this part here we're overlapping over the strap I am going in the strap and grabbing a few stitches just so that the top, the part that is over stays like stitched on the, the strap. So like they're together and they're not like floppy and like moving. And here I'm starting, you know, a new hole, a new like 
a round thing and I, I did, you know, the chain. I connected it to the the part of the the top and now I'm just going back and forth and building on it. And this is how I'm doing everything here. <laughs> Um, hello! Hi! It's the third day of this project. I managed to do a little bit yesterday. I think I uh, crocheted for like three, four hours. I don't think I got to like five hours, but I did something. And then this morning, I worked a little bit on it as well. I managed to film and I found a better filling position. So um, we'll get some better shots um, and like a nicer close up on like what I'm doing but yeah like this is how it's it's looking so far i'm definitely um i'm um thinking that i'm going for like a halter top kind of shape you know in the beginning i really thought of doing like a very random shape and then using it like the like the inspiration that i used um but i just don't think i would use that like Part of me kind of want, still wants to do that, like start from nowhere instead of like starting with a strap um, because I think that would look like very cool, cool and organic. But, you know, for me and for my body shape, I don't think I would be able to wear that at all because uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't hold my boobs. So I think this is more like I'm definitely going to use this and I'm loving how it's looking. The white was definitely a good choice for like a contrast. Um, and yeah, I'm loving it. Okay, some things that I picked up um, when you're doing it. First of all, um, as you do it, I would advise just, you know, going up to a mirror and putting it on your body and seeing how it fits, how it looks. So from there, you kind of go and like do an action plan. So like, for example, for me, in my case specifically, I did start with a strap that would uh, wrap around most of my waist. And I uh, figured I'd do like a little corset back in the in the back and I did that because I, I would need more support so I just didn't want to just do like a random little piece and then like tie it up with strings because I didn't think that would hold up in my body so every time I, I you know I measured the middle the middle bit of the strap and every time I go to the mirror I hold it up against my body like this with this little marker in the middle and I see how it's you know how it's starting to shape like for example here I, I need to like cover this piece up because it's really close to my nipple um, and things like that. So as you know, as I, I, I started, you know, growing the piece, I started looking in the mirror and seeing what I would do from where um, places that I needed very covered up and places that I could open some holes in so that you're not like you, you don't end up doing like me putting a hole like where your nipple is and you can never wear this without anything in, um, underneath and if you're going for like a way more organic uh, shape so if you didn't do a strap like me but it's just started from like a swirl and then you kind of work from there like something like this without the straps definitely still go to the you know the mirror and look and like you know measure it in your body see where the holes fit uh, how you think you would you know use it so that it's like a functional piece and we're not just kind of doing a random piece that's not going to be worn you know for me that's like a big thing i didn't want to do anything that you know looks quirky and fun but then i can never wear it and yeah a few other things that i picked up are just like you know when doing curves the best thing to do after you do like a big curve uh to curve you just kind of like do a bunch of double crochets or like single crochets depending on how you're working in the same spot and then they kind of start like shifting like this and once i do like a big curve like this i like to do a a little bit of decreases here so that it's like, like a wave shape not so much like just a like a rounded shape and that's good for like ma maintaining shape maintaining it um kind of almost flat because if you just start going around and then you just kind of don't come back from going around it starts going very three-dimensional three Um, so let me show you, I'm pretty much done with this side of the thing, it's going to go in this side here, 
and I'm pretty satisfied with it so now I think I'm going to go to the other side but I don't want to start it from here from like the edge so what I think I'll do is I will like create he here's where I'm at I want to create like a big kind of spiral that goes here <laughs> here so I want to create like a big chain and come here and do like a spiral thing and then from there kind of work into the second um, side I don't want to like try and match this I just really want to go like random Hi, here I'm just disrupting the vibe a little bit just to talk about this that I'm doing. I'm going, um, I'm continuing to grow the top um, on the white uh, stitches, but because I don't want, like, I want them to be a little bit three dimensional so they look like they're on top of the stitch that I'm doing right now. So because of this, I am uh, stitching underneath the white stitch so where the the white uh stitch like the white crochets were done i'm going underneath that where the blue stitches were done i don't know if that was understandable <laughs> but i hope that you can kind of understand watching the video like i'm going in the stitch below the white one so that the white one looks a little bit two-dimensional yay <laughs> um hi i'm almost done it's been four days it's not a quick project, but it's a fun project and it's easy. You don't really have to be thinking too much. You just have to do it. Um, yeah, I think I filmed, uh, I don't think I know. I filmed a uh, time lapse of uh, almost me, fi me finishing it. And I'm very happy with it. I have a few things that I have to fix um, over here. This gap over here. It go no, not this one, the, the one in the bottom, this one goes straight into my uh my nipple so it, it's just like it's pretty much like a nipple hole and i don't want that so i will cover this but i think i'll just cover this all with white because now the last thing that i'm doing not the last but the thing that i'm doing now is i'm going to go around the whole thing with the white white yarn as well as some of the holes that i didn't uh that i didn't fill in with the white i'm going to fill them in not fully, but just like the edges with the white yarn. Also, this one, I will fill entirely with the white yarn. So I don't have, like, I'm not showing my, my nipple. Um, <laughs> and yeah, after that, I think I'll just um, do a string, like a long string. Um, and then I will attach it to the back. Actually, like, if I wanted to, I can use it without like doing a corset like tie up back because it does fit me it's a little stretchy so i can't fit it around my body but i don't want to have to like i don't want that like i just want to put the the strings in the back to make it like a tied up cord like no corset it's not a corset but like a tied up thing and i'm going to put the yeah i'm going to make the strings white because I think that's going to look cute, but I think it's looking really nice. Um, oh, I forgot to say, there are two mistakes that I will fix as I do the white border, and they're the ones that are marked. So over here, I will just kind of pull this down a little bit like this, because I feel like it's too, like, stretched. And the same thing over here, um, it's a little, like... 
like this i will just kind of do this and grab it with the white yarn that i'm doing the whole the whole edge with and that's it i'm almost done i feel happy <laughs> Um, hi, we're done. I'm so happy about it. Um, a few considerations. I think the last time I talked to you guys, I was going to do the whole edge and fill in the holes with the white. And I did that. Um, <laughs> yeah, there are a few, like, I told you guys about this, uh, the couple of things that I was going to, like, pressed together so one of them is this one over here i did unite it with the whole border thing and as well as this one i don't know if you can tell over here i folded it so it's it lays flatter so yeah uh there were a few issues first of all this little hole over here uh that doesn't exist anymore actually over here we had a little hole um and it was like right up my nipple and i was going to cover it in white and i did that and it looked really bad so and i you know i took it all off uh i unraveled it and i filled it up with blue and just like made it seamless and i made the the white edge that was already here kind of three-dimensional um something else that happened you know i did the whole uh tied up back i was going to put it on my body and when i did that i realized that every time i would like put it up on my body to like see how it was going on i didn't really center the back so every time i was holding the back to myself it was off center this is why people usually use mannequins i just don't have one i mean i have one but she's she's too thin. She's not my size, so I don't usually use her because she's 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 skinnier than I am. Um, and with that, what happened was that my whole boob was showing um, on this hole here. This hole was supposed to be like on the middle over here, a little bit off center. But what happened was it was way too like too sideways because of the back. So if I center the back this uh gap over here this hole over here uh stayed off center and it showed off my boob and if i pushed it like to the center the back was off center and it looked kind of weird i tried you know trying the the court the, the whole thing in different ways in my body so i put it like sideways with the um, the tied up bit over here and over here and it looks okay but it's even riskier especially like one side doesn't work because this would be where my boob was and the other side it works out but it's really risky to just lift like this bit of fabric covering one of your boobs so i decided to fix it by coming in here in the hole that i had and doing a feel more uh rows of a double stitch double crochet sorry so i did i think three rows of double crochet here using the so like four because i used the method where i live the the white border like over so like two-dimensional uh so i made like four new rows of like double crochet over here and now it covers everything perfectly and yeah also for the um, the string, I used the I chord method, but an I chord method that is easier. There's a couple of I chord methods. I chord is basically when you do this like chord and it, it gets like it's a little less like it's a little thick. It's a, a nice little chord to use as a strap. Um, I'll put the video that I used because I did feel myself doing it and trying to explain, but I don't know if I'll be able to. So I'll just uh, link to the video if you want to follow it. Um, where I did this kind of ice I court method 
and yeah this is it i did this like other one for the strap and i will tie it up like this so it holds up better and there we have it a free hand crochet top and it's very there's someone looking at me it's like literally someone looking at me anyway a free hand crochet uh top and it has like it's all like swirly and like this you know <laughs> and the ones that i saw online i guess that inspired me were much less structured they were much more like individual shapes and they would be put like on the boob and like tied up with straps and that's fine i just didn't think it would hold up on me and i wouldn't wear it like because it wouldn't be like very supportive and this is surprisingly very supportive you know supportive support yeah supportive i guess it supports my breasts in a decent way um not you know i'm, I'm not going to do sports with this but it's definitely cute and it, it holds the the tatas very well I hope it inspired you to make one. Maybe it will be helpful. Uh, I hope it is. I hope it inspired you to do something or at least to entertain you on like how to do a fun crochet top. As a beginner, I myself am, as a, am a beginner, so I'm very happy with like having done this. I think it looks really fun. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it um consider following me here subscribing and liking and commenting anything you want because i'm just starting out and it would mean a lot for me um also my social media if you're interested in going there giving a like um but that's it i'll see you guys again in a few days bye bye